hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do a curly low ponytail so right here I have two big uh, flat twists on my head I slept with these in I did have mine I slept with my satin scarf so for this video we are going to need a spray bottle some oil a gel of your choice, um, a leave-in of your choice, or a bristle brush, a tangling brush, rat tail comb, and two different size uh, ponytail holders. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. And if you guys like my makeup, go ahead and hit that like button. Those waves probably don't miss. Alright. Let's get this one out. Okay. So, we're going to brush this through. And we're going to this side and the ponytail first. Work with the left side. And over here, I'm not going to drench it in water. I just want to get it, I guess, moist, wet. Not, um, saturated just enough to where we get it to um, get the top part to lay down with the brush like we want and then we'll concentrate on the ends later for once we get that um, the low ponytail part just a little more water Through. And like I said, it doesn't have to be super soaking wet, just enough to get it to lay down a little bit if you catch my drift. So now we're going to wrap this side out of the way. Ooh, uh -uh. Okay. Wrap this side out of the way. soaking wet just enough to lay it down to where we can get it to form that back ponytail and then we'll work on that back ponytail later to where we can add a little bit more of that water so we're going to take that out and I'm going to add this do grow mega thick formula hair oil sides just a couple of drops or a couple of squirts <laughs> and we're going to just want it on the top mostly just to give it a little shine and then we'll work the ends Anytime I need a conditioner, leave-in conditioner, this is my go-to. This one, and I like the uh, Cream of Nature um, spray where you have to uh, shake to activate it. That one's really good, too. So we're not going to drench it today with this leave-in. Take about 
that much. subscribe button the like button person to wear I like um, a side part not really a middle part person it depends on um, the style that I'm going for but for a low ponytail usually I prefer a side part so um, let's go let's try this way so, So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull my hair back and I'm going to put this in a low loose ponytail to where it just holds it so I can work with, see, so loose and low so I can work with this portion of the hair. So usually since I, um, I like them low and tight, so instead of me just putting like, um, the full rubber band on there like right away or um whatever time using instead of putting it on right away and then working the top i just like to put a smaller one or um something different just to hold it to where i can mold and maneuver the top on how i like it so take this brush again and we're just going to kind of brush the lumps and bumps nothing too perfect just brush it out and what I'm doing I'm just kind of brushing it to where I left that loose ponytail at and I'm going to take my boar bristle brush and kind of brush it in the direction I want it to go okay. and brush this side in the direction I need it to go and then brush it down. Now I'm going to take some of this Cantu Shea Butter hair gel, silent gel, about that much for this side. And I just kind of, when I put it on there, I kind of just go with the direction of the hair already on how I'm winding to lay. I'm just seeing brush this part back on how I want that to lay. And then a little more on this side. Just enough to coat it to where you have all the little flyaways laying down. It doesn't have to, well for me, it doesn't have to be too perfect. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't want any flyaways, but I also don't want 
super gunky gel just like globbed in my hair like I just don't like that feeling or that look on my hair so we're just gonna put it up to where it coats the surface and I'm taking my hands and just smooth it down go back to that board bristle brush and I'm just going to brush that through So now that I have that brush through, I'm going to take out the low ponytail and I'm going to hold this part and brush it out. And then when I brush that out, take a little more water. And this time I can kind of give it a little more um, water to where I catch that curl pattern, but I still don't want it to where it's, you know, like saturated or dripping, or just enough to where it holds the, gives a, a curl pattern, or shows a curl pattern. And brush that out. All brushed out there. Alright, so a little bit more water. Bring my fingers through it really quick. Make sure those knots are out. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to take that small hair tie again, put it back in a low pony, take my brush again, and make sure I get everything smooth. So in this next go around, we're going to add the bigger hair tie, or the stronger hair tie. not loop around as many times as I needed to because my hair is too thick and it will pop and break and most of you curly girls know already about the little tiny hair elastics so just enough to get it slicked down I'm going to add a little bit more gel on this side perfect and little bit more on this side kind of mold it down and we're going to brush it through once again get that all brushed through brush through and since the little ponytail was loose and further back I'm going to take my thicker one. I don't think this one's gonna work. Um, okay, maybe this one is a little better. I'm going to wrap it around my hands once. I'm gonna grab it and in my hand, and as I brush, brush those hairs into my hand. I can get all the little loose hairs or whichever hairs I need to get and so as you can see my hand is here and the low pony is here right here so I'm gonna go above the low pony and now I'm gonna start to make my ponytail perfect and then I'm going to pull type remove the smaller one Now I'm going to back through again. Perfect. And actually, you know, I'm going to add a little bit more of this leave-in. So about that 
that much. comments guys if you guys prefer baby hairs with your low pony or high pony or if you prefer it with both for me I prefer it with both so Try to give them the best as I can. I mean, you know, come on, perfect. Hey, it's not the end of the world. So, but if you guys like this quick, easy, low pony, give it a like, a subscribe. Because this is one of my favorite go to quick hairstyles. You know, you only need a hair tie. Maybe two, you know, if you want to use a low hole ponytail method. younger I used to do this um, really high ponytail so I like to do the, the big bun on top the ninja bun but what I would do is I would do um, the smaller hold loose um, ponytail on the top but what what I would do is I would flip my hair upside down put the loose pony and then brush it up and then put a, a bigger hair tie and then do like the ninja knot but like when I did that I used to put it like literally like right here like a little um almost kind of like like a hat like um like a little unicorn horn but it was like literally like right here it was cute though because I got a big head so like the back part kind of you know how you get that good uh gelled effect in the back but um Anyhow, guys, like I said, if you guys like this look, 
overall look uh, let me know in the comments you like this makeup look let me know and if this hairstyle works for you guys hey try it out let me know all right guys you're watching davis way tv and i'm out Thank mm -hmm. you.